Welcome back to another episode of Guns and Cars. Uh, today, I want to explain and go over the difference between this clear ballistics gel and this uh, organic uh, Nox ballistics gel. They're uh, both 10%. Uh, this is kind you can make yourself at home. Uh, it's made out of Nox gelatin, which is a uh, pork product, I believe. It's literally made from uh, gelatin and whatnot from uh, pig bone and such whereas this is a synthetic block by clear ballistics uh, there are different sizes here because this is how clear ballistics ships this block also if you buy the mold it'll be that size uh, but these are the molds I've been using <clears throat> if you see my previous videos with any of the gel uh, you notice this one is much more clear and that's because uh, I mixed the previous one way too thick so it this is accurate 10 percent ballistics gel it's supposed to be somewhat transparent like this uh, the one i had before was i made it more like a uh, 15 percent because i uh, messed up my measurements but this is correct today and we got a whole bunch of them and then also uh the more you melt them down and, and reform them and all that every time you cook it up melt it down it'll get darker and darker and darker and this one's fresh so anyways uh the fbi actually uses this as cool as this is because it's completely transparent uh the fbi actually uses this and uh the reason being that it most accurately represents uh human flesh um and what a, a bullet will do in uh human flesh for the purposes of uh self-defense scenarios this does a pretty good job too. On their website, they advertise that it, you know it's perfect representation and accurate and all that. But I can tell you, I've watched a ton of ballistics gel tests and videos over the last decade, and these are not as accurate. You'll get different results with these than you will with these a lot of the times. Uh, sometimes you'll have the same results, but again, for what I've seen from watching them for the past decade. Uh, generally you get different results and typically you'll get less penetration through this than you will this uh, I can tell you by filling this and I'm 100% sure I made this correct and it's cold we got it in an ice chest back there filled with ice with a bunch of them um, this feels a little softer than this um, also just period again watching different ones over the years I always notice that generally you have less penetration in this block than this. I don't know if that's because of the, the you know, chemical makeup of this block or because this at 10% is slightly stiffer at 10% than this. I don't know why, but typically from what I've seen, you get less penetration in these than you do with what the FBI actually uses. Um, also, what you'll have with these blocks... And it's hard to tell in uh, live motion, but if you see some people shooting these with slow-mo, real good slow-mo, they actually have bounce back. So like the bullet will travel, and then it'll bounce back two or three inches. Not every round does it, um, but a lot of the pistol cartridges do that. Probably 75, 80% of them, they'll, they'll go in so far and then bounce back an inch or two. Sometimes even further. Um, now sometimes you can see, if you don't have slow motion, to see that it bounced back. Sometimes you can see that it bounced back because the wound channel will extend past your bullet. But that's not always the case. If it's a real small caliber or if the bullet didn't expand. I've seen where they went two or three inches further in slow motion and then bounced back. And then when the guy went to inspect the block, he's like, oh, it only went this far. Because the itty bitty wound channel from whatever caliber it was... And whatever round it was, it sealed back up so you actually couldn't see that it had traveled further and bounced back. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, also, I've also seen these things explode internally, and I forget the term, but it's all it's basically a super, uh, really fast rounds. It typically doesn't happen with your 
typical uh, pistol calibers, but with, like they hit them with rifles, and in slow motion, you can actually see there's an explosion, like literal fire. Um, it basically ignites this because this is petroleum based, which is uh, flammable. So hitting it with that high power of around that fast, it creates combustion, kind of like how a diesel engine does. It has no spark plugs. It just uses uh, compression to ignite the diesel fuel. And that's basically what happens with these, with the high-powered uh, rifle rounds. You can actually see in some videos in slow motion a fireball go off because it's exploding from that high rate of impact at that velocity with this petroleum-based stuff. And I feel like that's definitely skewing the results because, I mean, if you have an explosion going on there that would not happen in this one, I think that's going to change your permanent wound cavity. So you have that issue also. And then uh, I've also seen typically after they do that you can see smoke come out the entry hole uh, from that explosion from the fireball so uh, those are the differences so this still gives a pretty good representation but like i said uh, a lot of times you have bounce back and then if you, you might not always see that it bounced back so it might go 12 inches but in reality if you watched it in slow motion it went 14 and then bounced back and then uh, with the real high powered rounds um I don't know if you're getting accurate permanent wound cavity results because of the explosions that occur inside of it being uh, petroleum based that I discussed. So sorry to ramble on so long, but th that should be the basis of all the information. Those are the differences I've seen and researched. Uh, so that's the difference. I intend in all future gel videos, um, I intend to try to use both. I don't know if I'll be able to maintain doing that. Uh, one, because this stuff's really expensive, and two, it's a lot of crap to lug around. Because we have that thing full. We had six of these brown blocks in there, and then we brought four of these clear ones. That's a lot of damn weight to be carrying around. But uh, I intend to and would like to keep using both blocks in my test. That way you guys can see the difference. Um, I also got a huge roll of denim that I'll be using so in at least in the majority of the future upcoming uh, ballistics gel tests uh, we'll be using both blocks so we can see the difference so if if you're the guy that wants to see it super clear which i understand because it looks cool it's really easy to see we'll have that but then we'll also have the more accurate representation here so i'm hoping that'll help set my channel apart from the others at least in uh, ballistic testing because I don't know anyone else that uses both blocks. They usually use one or the other. So uh, we'll be doing side-by-side -side comparisons each time with both blocks. Uh, one last thing I almost forgot to mention that these are temperature sensitive, whereas these are not. I don't think you can have this out in like 110 degree Arizona, you know, summer or nothing like that. But uh, these for optimal performance for them to be as accurate as possible and this thing's super cold right now because we just pulled it out of that ice chest perfect temperature for these to most accurately represent uh human flesh is 39 degrees um so a lot of people don't know that they make that and then they'll like throw it in their truck and drive a half hour to, and then set it up and by then it's already extremely compromised uh, i've done some research on it actually where even the difference in 10 degrees like between this being 40 degrees and 50 degrees the exact same rounds will penetrate three inches more for example under a controlled study uh, so it's very important to keep these things really cold 39 degrees like i said is optimal uh, less is better than more so and it's only like 50 some degrees out here today so we don't have to worry about it heating up too much but if you're shooting these things out in 80 90 degree weather they heat up real fast so just a matter of you pulling it out and setting it up and shooting it that's about all the time you got you know four or five minutes before your results are going to be skewed so that's another advantage to this is you can use this whenever you want this has to be temperature controlled so unless you're shooting in your backyard um, it's a real pain in the butt to use these accurately because you got to lug them around of cooler and ice and all that and it's just a real pain in the ass so we're going to do it anyways but uh, that's one disadvantage to this is uh temperature oh also this being organic matter these expire these rot these you can use over and over and over and over again leave, leave them set out these have to be refrigerated because it's literally basically pork meat it's pork gelatin 
Uh, so you can't leave it out. It has to be refrigerated. It takes a lot of space up in your fridge uh, or they'll they'll go bad. They'll rot. They'll mold. And uh, that's the other thing. You only get so long out of these. Um, if I use them uh, twice a week, so I'm melting them down, you know, there's they're not no more than three or four days in between melting it back down and reusing it, melting it back down and reusing it. And I got this the last about three weeks. If you just let it sit in your fridge for a week then that's pretty much it'll it'll start to degrade because you know even food you put in your fridge will mold eventually um so if you use it every few days you can get a few weeks out of it otherwise it's only going to be good for one time around so those are the differences guys i'm going to wrap it up here just wanted to discuss the differences in this video and if you all want to actually see the differences and you'll start seeing what i'm talking about with how this one will generally have less penetration than this and I don't think we'll catch bounce back because my slow-mo isn't that good but uh, if you want to see any of that I got ballistics gel uh, videos coming up real soon where we're shooting both we're actually about to film it right now uh, but that's going to conclude this video so make sure you stay tuned and check out the videos that are coming up uh, if you want to see the comparison thanks for watching and catch you guys on the next one